back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel i appreciate you guys a whole lot okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut two types of cross skirt that's tulip skirt so this skirt is a little bit in vogue right now someone actually sent the picture for me to do an illustration on it so today I'm going to show you how to cut it. It is a very simple, simple process. So you can see like a mini of the skirt here. I've used, I just used paper to cut it out. It's a very simple process. So instead of just going with um, regular straight, straight, straight skirts, you can decide to, to change up things a little bit and then change your skirt pattern. So your dress looks different. So that's just the essence of this. So you can use it for a gown, you can use it for a skirt, you can use it for any pattern of your choice. So that's what we're going to do today. And it is very simple. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut out our straight skirt pattern. So I'm going to fold out my fabric now and then for the sake of those that are new, that's beginners. So let's just cut it from scratch for them. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, if you have not subscribed already, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. And then this new month, if you want to register for my online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll send you the details of the classes that we have available. We have six classes currently. We have the beginners class, we have the intermediate class, we have a ready to work class. For people that want to go into ready to work business, sewing and car and then selling online. We have the corset class. We have an advanced class for people that already know how to sew. And then we have a trouser and a jumpsuit class. So just send me a message and then you get the details. Okay, so now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now, we're going to draft out our skirt. So this part is going to be my waist. So I'm just doing this for the sake of beginners. A straight skirt is a very simple process so you mark it to your knees that's from from your waist to your hip is usually eight inches so you mark eight inches for your hip and then from your waist to your knees usually 20 21 inches 19 inches depends on the the height for taller people so for your for taller people it's usually 20 is usually 20 between 19 and 20 inches sorry and then normal average people is usually 21 so you mark your your new measurement and then your full length of your skirt so the next thing now you insert your waist measurement so for your waist you divide your waist measurement into four for instance if your waist is let me say your waist is 30 you divide it into four when you divide 30 into four you are going to have 7.5 and then you place your measurement for your waist and then you add two inches allowance to it and then you mark it like that and then you come to your hip measurement so for instance your hip is 40 you divide into four you have 10 and then you mark the 10 inches and then you add another two inches for stitching allowance then you connect your lines from here and from your waist you connect it to your hip like this and then for the knee you can decide to reduce your your hip measurement by two inches so you just mark what you have here and then you reduce it by two so the essence is for you to give it a very nice shape and then you mark it like this so you see the way it is curving down and then for the down part you can decide how wide you actually want your the down part of your skirt so usually most times i normally use like 10 inches so that's like i use like 10 for mine so and then you mark you just mark it like this so you could see the shape of our skirt is out so we're going to cut this now this is the front we use this to cut out the back okay so you can see our skirt is here beautiful and well just straighten it out and then you can add your dart so that you use half of your bust span measurement which is depends on your bust span that's your nipple to nipple measurement so mine if i'm going to be doing for myself mine is eight so i'm going to use like four inches so you just mark your dart and then you put a notch for your dart line so this is just like a very a simple way for those that don't know how to cut a skirt 
a simple way of cutting a pencil skirt. So the next thing we're going to continue now, we're going to cut out the back. So I'll place this and then cut out the back because we need the back for this tutorial. So I'll place it like this. So for the back, because I need zipper allowance, so I'm going to have allowance here for the back piece. So I'll just place it like that. So I have two inches already. And then I would cut. I would cut it out like that. And then I will still put my zipper allowance notch like that. And then you add your zipper. Okay, so we have our back piece now. And then we have our front piece. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut out the two leaves, that's the crossing for our skirt. So I'll just keep the back piece on the side like this. So for that, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to transfer this piece. I want to transfer it into another fabric because I want to have a, a, a replicate, like a replication or something. So now let's go into the business of the day. So for the first skirt, the first one that has the straight part, so you can see the picture up there. So that is why I cut out an extra pieces of fabric. So I'm just going to pin it down. Okay, before then, let me just keep it on the side and then let's work on our cross. So in order for you to cut out your tooling, you can decide however you actually want it to be. It is a very simple process. So most, from the pictures above, you could see that the curve actually started like two inches below the hip part. So it depends. So this is my hip line. I can do two inches down or three inches. Depends on how covered you want it to be. So this is like two in two and a half inches. So let's just do two and a half inches. So you mark your two and a half inches here, and then you come to the down part. You know, initially I told you that I used the down part of mine is going to be ten inches. So for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you are going to determine how wide you want the down part to be. So the, because the wideness of the down, how wide will determine how open the center will also be. Okay, so for this, if I'm using 10 inches for the down, that's on fold. If I'm using 10 inches for my skirt pattern, because what I'm doing now is a, like a little one, but I'm using the actual measurement. So like this, what I, if I have 10 inches, for the down of my own so when you open it up you are going to have 20 inches like this that's straight open like this you're going to have 20 inches so what i'm going to do that 10 inches if i i'm not going to since i don't want it to be on the middle so i'm going to reduce it i'm going to use like eight inches you understand because if i use 10 inches this is the center that will be is that means i'm going to have the cut from the center but if you see the skirt is actually not from the center but if you want it to be on the center you can actually cut from there but if you want it less that's if you want the side to be slimmer you can reduce by two inches so that's what i'm trying to say so i reduce by two inches i'm going to have my eight inches here now well, the next thing what i'm going to do from this point like this i'm just going to do a very nice curve like this So you see what I have. So I'm just going to do a curve. Let the curve come and meet the 8 inches that I measured on this part. So you see it is a very simple process. But for this, I would advise you, you either use your lining to cut or you use your pattern. Because if you use the actual fabric, you are going to waste and spoil it. So I'm going to cut this out right now. it is a simple process so you cut it out so what i'm going to do now with this i'm going to cut out a second one so i'm just going to place this on my remaining fabric like this
I have my skirts laid out. So now we're going to work. So the first one, the one that has, so for the one that has a skirt at the center, that's a covering at the center. So this is the back piece now. So we're going to assemble the skirt. So we're finished cutting. So this is the normal one. So this is the back piece. So your back piece is going to sit like this. And then for the one that has the regular straightness, that has the straight one from the picture above, this is going to come like this. So let me just show you before I continue. So you see how it is going to come. So you see it, it is crossing perfectly well. So this was what I was trying to say. If you feel that this part is not open enough, so you can decide to open it more. You understand? You can decide to open it more if you feel it is not open. And then if you feel that it is not high enough also, you can still decide to, to come up a little bit like this. So it depends on what you want. So this is how the front of the skirt is going to be like. So for the one that has the double skirt, so you are going to take this and then you are going to stitch it on top of this. So this now becomes the front part of your skirt. So for this one, for this pattern, if you want to do it, I would advise you to open it more. You understand? Because you, are, you, are, you have a very good covering here. So for this, you can decide to go as deep or as high as, as, as you want because you have a covering here. So this is now going to be the front of our skirt. So you could see it. This will be the front of the skirt. And then this is the back. And then this now sits here like this. And then you couple your skirt together. And then you stitch your skirt together like that. So that's just it for this first picture. Why the second one? The second picture, that one does not have this middle piece. It does not have this middle piece. It's just, it's just the simple one. So the front piece, you are just going to join them together like this on the side and then you take this as the front piece and then you place here so for this one like i said you can decide to make it not to be too deep but for the second one you can increase more so you just place like this and then you sew and then you have your back piece and then you have your front piece so you see your skirt it is straight and and neat so guys so thank you so much this is the end of the tutorial so it is a very simple process that's just the truth it's a simple process. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.